AAC stands for Alternative and Augmentative Communication. It basically refers to any form of communications besides speech. So AAC systems can range from unaided to low technology, for example, printed communication boards or communication books, um, to high technology, which includes voice output communication aids, apps, um, communication software, and computer-based systems as well. When we are looking into an AAC system, there are a few factors that um, you may want to take into consideration. First and foremost, the language representation method. How does the system organize and represent language? The other side of it is vocabulary. What is being programmed and accessible to the person um, in terms of messages and words? And of course, the method of utterance generation. Can the person create their own sentences or phrases? Besides that, you may also need to look into factors such as user interface. How are all these um, elements being presented to the user? Um, as well as control interface, how the person interacts with the device itself, um, whether they are using their hand, fingers, or whether they are using some alternative means. Besides all that, you will also need to look into the level of training and support that you can get for the communication system that you are looking at at the moment. If you have difficulty accessing a local speech therapist or speech pathologist, then telehealth is, can be a vital factor when you are considering a communication system as well. Unaided AAC systems can be some of the most portable AAC system that an individual can access. They do not require or rely on any external aids and they can take many shapes and form as well, including gestures, vocalizations, signing, or even facial expressions or gross body movements. Even though unaided and low-tech AAC system may not receive as much media attention, they can be equally effective and valid for some individuals. Single meaning picture refers to picture symbols or icons that represents one concept or word in a communication system. If you have a hundred words on a communication system, then you will need a hundred different symbols or icons to represent those concepts or vocabulary. There are also devices that uses visual scene displays, which essentially uses a picture or photo to represent an environment or context that the person is in. And they use parts of that picture or photo to represent a message. Through sequencing multiple meaning pictures, you can access a large amount of vocabulary with minimal amounts of inputs. That means the person can access a large amount of vocabulary without having need to learn a large amount of symbols or icons. Most of the multiple meaning picture systems also allow you to combine different words in whatever way you want as well so that you can create your own sentences and messages. The only real system there that will allow you to say exactly what you want to say is typing or through an alphabetic system. Drawbacks of text-to-speech systems are mainly related to the amount of time and effort required to generate a message. The user also needs to be able to spell as well so that they can construct their own messages. I am fine, thanks. Um, the aim of AAC is not to provide a technological solution to a communication problem or difficulty that the person experiences. The ultimate aim of AAC is to enable an individual to be able to interact in a range of contexts and environments that the person will be in.